Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Sunday the 27th of June 2021. Being a Sunday, the last week uh, before pre-season starts, there's not a lot going on. Not a lot going on in stories today. One of them isn't technically about Millwall, it just happened uh, next to the ground. So let's start off with this. Um, so it seems Sheffield Wednesday... Maybe got a bit upset with our first low offer and have uh, come back with a ridiculous uh, premise of their own. So this is from the star.co.uk, which is the Sheffield Star. I believe it's the local, one of the local papers. I'm not too sure because I'm not from Sheffield. It says Sheffield Wednesday have a big price on Josh Windass. Millwall are going to have to fork out an eye-watering 5 million. Yes, five million if they want to take Josh Windash from Sheffield Wednesday, according to the Sun on Sunday. Wednesday have already batted away two bids from the Lions and may go back in with another, but it's unlikely that they will stretch to that figure in the current climate. Uh, yeah, we're not going to stretch that figure. He's not worth five million, and we wouldn't spend five million on a player. Our highest transfer fee paid is like one point two million, I believe, or in that region um yeah we're not spending five million especially not on josh windass um yeah it's not gonna happen but so it seems playing silly buggers has uh got us nowhere we were coming with a four hundred thousand pound bid um which got laughed out out of the place and then we upped it to a million so we went for like a two and a half times the original offer so it's like that's that's not how you barter that's really not how you barter um maybe they hope the club heard something that Sheffield Wednesday was so so desperate for the for the money that they would take it but we offered it installments as well so it's not as if we offered 400k immediately right away bank transfer done and dusted within hours if you accept the bid we offer it in, in installments so yeah uh, josh windass isn't worth five million i would say he's probably worth about between one and one and a half million um yeah so who knows what's going on there shuffle wednesday i don't know like yeah i don't know what's going on there it's all a, all a bit weird um shuffle wednesday are actually an absolute basket case at the moment i think they've got some far east owners who don't know what the fuck they're doing so yeah crazy 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 and speaking of crazy so like i said the second story today is nothing really about Mill football club but something that happened next to the ground. So, murder at Millwall, a legal rave. Yeah, so they've literally using Millwall's name to, to push this story. Um, to get it out there. So, man is stabbed to death at a warehouse bash beside South London Club. Sparking Capitals 59th homicide probe of 2021 police have launched murder investigation after the man stabbed to death at rave a 16 year old boy has been arrested after the stabbing in south bermsey footage of the gathering shows around 100 people scattered around a warehouse police have launched a murder oh this is from the daily mail.co.uk which is why they got so many adverts and moving videos and all that crap uh, police have launched a murder investigation after a man was stabbed to death at an illegal rave last night in South London. A 16-year-old boy has been arrested following the stabbing on Stockholm Road, South Bermondsey, at around 11.50pm. Emergency services attended the scene but were unable to save the man who had been injured in an unlicensed music event being held next to the Millwall Football Club. So, there you go. Um, it's literally just next to where the, where the club is. I'm not sure if it's in the the Hillsong place. The, there was a church in there, like one of the happy clappy churches who do singing and all that. Um, I don't know what's going on there, but you can see, look, they've got this massive warehouse space. There's only 100 people in there. It's like deserted. So I don't know what, what the hell they're doing. 
Uh, maybe it was supposed to be like going on later on, like two a.m. and like literally at the start of it at midnight. Um, it all got derailed after the, the aggro that went on. So a teenager also suffered head injuries, not believed to be life threatening, and was taken to hospital. Uh, police are working to identify the victim and inform his family. Anyone who attended the legal rave is asked to contact police. Uh, detectives are urging anyone who attended a music festival in South Bermuda Saturday night to get in touch after a male was fatally stabbed. Um, police were called, blah blah blah, Stockholm Road, blah blah blah. Unlicensed music event taking place at this location. So there you go, yeah. And literally most of the crowd seem to be white people and it's like... The guy, there's like literally two black people who seem to be running the music. So who knows what went on there? Um, who knows? Uh, officers attended along with London Ambulance Service. They found an unidentified male suffering stab injuries. Despite the efforts of emergency service, he was pronounced dead at the scene. Blah 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 blah. blah. And they show a random picture of a guy being arrested. I can't. I I don't think that's that's the actual guy. That fat lump isn't sixteen years old. Uh. Well, there you go, look, uh, there's a higher bike, probably stolen because uh, there's no docking stations anywhere near near me or football club. The nearest ones I think are in Greenwich or on the south bank. So, oh yeah, there you go, Hillsong. So it was in that church, so the Happy Clappy Church, you were in there and they're not in there no more. Um, so it was in there. So literally right by the entrance to, to Millwall, the Mill Gate. Um, so there you go. Yeah. So Millwall News is so it's not a lot going on on the weekend when there's no actual football or preseason training going on. So I have to bring you um stories about stuff that's going on around the Millwall Football Club. I can't wait for the for the season to get going again. Um yeah i can't wait um get some news proper news and i'll bring it to you and that's it for today's video thank you for watching goodbye